A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Alfredo Rollion Jr. S. Vili, Associate Priest of the Shrine. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, my dear sisters and brothers. Good afternoon, Father. And welcome to this celebration of the Holy Eucharist in the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. I'm greeting those who are here, very few of us. But of course, many of us are following our Holy Mass through the live stream coming from the Facebook page ng ating shrine and also meron din po kaming YouTube channel, no? the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word channel. And so we are very glad that we have this opportunity to share Jesus no? in the Gospel for today. It will be a great question to his disciples about the person, the identity of Jesus. And so may we ask the Lord that may God allow us to become receivers of his divine word and his body and blood. And with this, we call to mind our sins and ask God's mercy and compassion as we pray. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. have mercy, mercy on us. us. You, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, of the world. receive our prayer. prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth.
Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my, fa my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pluck my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help, who will prove me wrong. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice in supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me the day I called. The cords of death encompassed me. The snares of the netherworld seized upon me. I fell into distress and sorrow, and I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and just. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord keeps the little ones. I was brought low, and he saved me. For he has freed my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living.
A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm, and eat well. What you do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, You have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages around Caesarea Philippi. On the way, he asked his disciples this question, Who do people say that I am? They replied, Some John the Baptizers, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And you, he went on to ask, who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, you are the Messiah. Then he strictly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. He then began to teach them. The Son of Man had to suffer much, be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, be put to death, and rise three days later. He said this quite openly. Peter then took him aside and began to remonstrate with him. At this he turned around and, eyeing the disciples, reprimanded Peter in turn, get out of my sight, you, Satan. You're not judging by God's standards, but by man's. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If a man wishes to come after me, he must deny his very self, take up his cross, and follow in my steps. Whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the Messiah. Jesus is the Messiah. Peter, is that your final answer? O kailangan mo pa ng call a friend? O kaya 50-50? Or you want the crowd's opinion? 
ang luma na ng game show ko, no? <laughs> of course, yes, Peter doesn't want to become a millionaire, but he wanted to become a disciple of Jesus. And the question of Jesus is very central to the life of those who are willing or wishing to follow him and also crucial to the life that we are having as followers of Jesus. To answer the question, who do you say that I am? And in answering question, we always face these three categories or kinds of answer. The wrong answer, the right answer, and the real or your true answer. And when it comes to this question, I tried to consult some children, not experts, but children, to add a little lightness to our sharing for today before we dwell on its seriousness. A video of children was shown as they answered the question, who is Jesus? We will see whether they have the wrong answer, the right answer, or their true answers to the question. Uh, children number one says, He looks kind and he wears a robe. Sabi ng isa, He has a beard and he has a mustache. He is dressed up in white. <laughs> Others says, he is very bright. Uh, maybe this child saw a, a clip on the resurrection of Jesus or the transfiguration. Another said, well, he has a long blackish brown hair and is curly and has blue eyes as many have portrayed Jesus. And then moving on, it seems the children are becoming serious in answering the question. He knows each one of us and loves us all. Other says, who is this Jesus? This Jesus likes us. Another one said, he is heavenly father's son. Another said, shouting, Jesus is our brother. Another said, he is our savior. Another child added, he sacrificed a lot. He got nails on his hand or hands and died for us. Another child said, when I pray, I was comforted by him as if he is giving me a hug. Beautiful answers. Some may be categorized as a wrong answer or a right answer, but more likely, this is what is coming from their hearts. This is how we see Jesus. And of course, as many have tried in this topic in a homily, I'm also throwing the question to you. Who do you say Jesus is? Especially in this time, the time we're in, we are facing a crisis in our lives brought by the pandemic. Some of us are directly affected by it. Some are indirectly. Some may not have the virus, but we have the effects in economy, in relationships, in children. Again, I, I want to go back with the children. Ang daming mga bata na napapagod na, <laughs> na nagsasawa na, no? Sa, lalo na sa online learning. And of course, sa kanilang sitwasyon ngayon, wherein they cannot go out, they have to stay at home, no? And they may not fully understand what is going on. And of course, tayo. So, the timing of the question. In the time of Peter, what was that timing? When did Jesus ask them, or where is, or what is the time and place 
where Jesus asked his disciples. Well, it was believed that in that time, the place was built by Tetrarch Philip for Caesar, 40 kilometer north, kilometers north of Bethsaida in honor of Caesar Augustus. And it was believed that there's even a cave in honor of a Greek god of nature called Pan, but on the top of the temple, or at top of the cave, a temple was built by Philip in honor of the divine. Not the, the god divine, but the divine emperor. And so by having that background, he asked that question, and Peter answered the question of Jesus rightly. You are the Messiah. But after saying that, there is a but. Pero, when Jesus clarified what is that Messiah means. Why? Because they're expecting a Messiah that will save them. A political Messiah that will free them from the enemies, from the Roman conqueror. And so, more likely when Peter told Jesus that you're the Messiah... You know, in the place wherein it was dedicated for Caesar, Caesarea Philippi, Peter was acknowledging that, Lord, yes, you are the Messiah, and you have that power. But when Jesus said, well, but the Son of Man has to suffer much, be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be put to death, Realizing what we have heard in the first reading of today that is commonly used during the Lenten season, wherein this servant was portrayed as a suffering servant. My favorite part there, although I'm not a sadista, was when this suffering servant offered his cheek para yung kanyang balbas e mabunot. <laughs> torture that's pain and yet that is the image the image of the messiah is the one who will die on the cross but will rise again three days later but there is an uncertainty for others for peter on that situation wherein this messiah will die and that is why he objected it. And what did he get from Jesus? Jesus reprimanded him and rebuked Satan. Jesus acknowledged that Satan's work was there. Siguro siya sabi niya, eto ka na naman. Nagkita na tayo sa disyerto. Satan offered Jesus so many things, power, fame, no, just to be under Him and to stop whatever the plan of God was. But Jesus once again told Satan that you get away. Your standard is not God's standard. Peter's standard was a man's standard. And that is why after that, Jesus called the crowd challenge the crowd that if you wishes to come after me one must deny his very self take up his cross and follow in my steps again giving flesh to what the second reading is all about from santiago from james Reminding us of that our faith is dead without action, without work, without what God is asking us to do and what God is asking us to face. Life's suffering, life's challenges. And I've mentioned earlier, what a timing 
it is to be reminded that we are followers of Jesus that we have to show our faith through our actions and by our actions may the faith that we hold yung faith yung sagot natin kung sino ang panginoon na ito ay makikita yung dasal at asal na laging magkasama na hindi mo pwedeng paghiwalayin pagdating sa pananampalataya and i believe that many of us are already fulfilling this facing our sufferings with faith in our hearts longing for jesus longing for the sacrament helping our brothers and sisters giving them hope like what jesus has given us in the gospel of today that the life of the disciple may be very challenging but as i said jesus is giving us hope whoever would save his life will lose it but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it i will quote the words of our beloved professor in scriptures and an author of a book or books or book with volumes of uh, homilies that he said that there are some who will not as jesus said there were some who will not taste death until they see the reign of god in power this should be a reason to persevere and be faithful suffering will be over before we know it with christ in our hearts this suffering will be over and with hope in our hearts sasabihin natin na ah tapos na ah nalampasan na natin but that is only possible if we have jesus in our hearts if we have that messiah in our hearts if we have the jesus that we confess every time we express the creed every time we say that he is indeed the messiah that he is indeed jesus christ and so may we continue to reflect on the question of jesus and the answer given to us and our own answer of course sometimes our answers are wrong sometimes our answer are right sometimes our answer are our true answers from the heart but i wish and pray that when we profess that jesus is the messiah that is your right answer and at the same time your true answer amen And with this, we now express our faith in God by praying, I believe, I believe in, one in one God, God the, Father the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came Amen. down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. We now turn to our gracious Father that He may deepen our faith and strengthen our hope as we acknowledge His Son Jesus as our Messiah. With hearts full of confidence, we pray, Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For the Holy Father, the bishops, the clergy, and all who exercise authority in the Church, may they continue to be living witnesses of Christ amidst all hardships and pastoral concerns. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to the, the prayers, prayers of, of your, your people. people. For all government officials, may they acknowledge Jesus as their model and inspiration, that they may render honest administration and safeguard the dignity and rights of all. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For all catechists, may they continue to dedicate their lives to the mission of Christ as teachers and witnesses. We lift to you all their hopes and needs. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to the, the prayers, prayers of, of your, your people. people. For the sick, the marginalized, victims of violence and injustice, and those persecuted because of their faith, May they acknowledge Christ as their sure hope and support as they go through pressing times. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. For all the faithful departed, may they enjoy peace and happiness in the presence of the living God. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. We pray for the urgent concerns of our community <coughs> and our personal intentions, including the healing of Helen Hernandez Lorenzo, Edgardo Hernandez Lorenzo, and Wilfredo Trinidad Jr. We pray. Lord, listen to the prayers of your people. Father, listen to the supplications of your faithful. Our needs are great and our troubles so many, but your love for us is far greater. Rescue us in our distress as we acknowledge Jesus, your Son, who redeemed us, our true hope and lasting strength, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now give us life. 
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor in our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son. By his obedience, we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As in exaltation, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have saved Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, Onesto, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, Dear Son, Jesus Christ.
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, power and, the and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Sisters and brothers, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God, our Savior. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above Body all things, Christ. and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God. 
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and now our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reina de Metz. Pray for us. Announcement. So my dear sisters and brothers, we thank you for joining us in our live streaming of the Holy Mass. And of course, I would like to thank those who help us and made this celebration possible, our lecturers, commentators, our own staff here in the diocesan shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. And so please continue to follow us in this holy po mga sa misa. Tayo nagkakasama-sama. But once in a while, we're having some programs, some special uh, activities that we are streaming through our page, through our Facebook page. So, yung po yung FB page natin at YouTube, ang pangalan po yung Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. And I hope that you help us also promote the shrine as a place of prayer, as a place of encounter with Jesus, the Divine Word made flesh. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every dis distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass descended. Let us go and share the goodness of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.